The Ondiri Swamp, which is located on the outskirts of Nairobi, is a key source of water for the Kenyan capital. However, it is now being threatened by the increased human activity around it. Conservationists are racing to preserve the wetland and all its benefits for future generations. CGTN's Wilkes Jr. reports. The trickle of water turns into a steady stream, feeding into a pool where the children swim. But Ondiri Swamp is more than just a playground on a sunny day. It is the lifeblood of the Nairobi River, sending ripples far and wide. It is mid-morning on a weekday, and birds and animals are enjoying the peace and quiet at the swamp. The word Ondiri is a corruption of Old Lake. Because about 150 years ago, uh, this place used to be an open lake. David is a coordinator of the Friends of Ondiri Wetlands, an organization with over 300 members that's involved in conservation efforts. A few years, the swamp's very existence came under threat. Ondiri Swamp is a headwater for a tributary of the Nairobi River. It is Africa's second deepest wetland after Douala in Cameroon. It is also the source of Kikuyu Springs, Nairobi City's oldest water source. But human activities have taken their toll. In the past, a section of locals abstracted water illegally. Raw sewage and chemicals from flower farms sometimes drained into the wetland. Fodder harvesters also cut the grass, and the flow of water slowed to a trickle. The water levels in Kikuyu, especially the boreholes, their water levels were going down. And then it was discovered, it's because Ondire was drying. Ondire, actually the water was going, and that's why it couldn't even flow. Saving the wetland is a community effort. Together with local county government, the Water Resources Management Authority and others, the Friends of Ondiri are teaching locals the importance of safeguarding the resource. We have planted like 10,000 seedlings, and those seedlings were planted along the riparian area. It is playing a very major role in climate change mitigation because wetlands absorbs 30% of the atmospheric carbon. So this being an urban ecosystem, you can imagine the about the benefits it has to the residents of this area. The water that runs through Ondiri Swamp is cold, fresh and so clean that one can drink it directly from the source. And that's the reason why the environmentalists who work here continue to do what they do, working to ensure that generations will be able to enjoy this water even after they are gone. The quaking bog has a layer of living vegetation on top of a layer of peat. Walking on the surface feels like bouncing. This, together with a colorful garden and nature trail, attract local tourists. Community members have contributed to the beautification of the swamp, and there's more work to be done yet. But now, they and their children get to enjoy the cool waters and enjoy the natural wonder in their backyard. Wilkitsanyabwa CGTN.